Welcome to this week's edition of Chatting the Pictures. So, Michael, we're back with three recent news photos. And how about we dive right in? So this photo was taken by Tom Fox of Dallas News. It is a photograph of an armed shooter who is attacking the federal courthouse uh, Monday morning in downtown Dallas. And most of the chatter about the photograph on social media was about the bravery of the reporter. That's really not the point. You know, the guy was just doing his job. And the point, at least from my standpoint, is, you know, again, the ubiquity of these attacks that this guy would have been there at that moment and randomly and get this close to the, you know, the actual shooter. Yeah, this photograph is, it is one that we don't often see because we don't often see the shooter literally in the act of holding all of the weapons. You know, happily in this case, this did not turn out to be a mass shooting, but clearly when you look at the gear this guy was carrying, right, that and the machinery, that was the intention. To me, the first thing I thought when I saw this photo is the guy with all the guns looks really, really frightened. He suddenly sees someone with a camera and it's my understanding that he had dropped one of his magazines on the ground, had turned to pick it up, saw the photographer, the photographer made this photograph, and then the guy ran across the street and got shot and died in the parking lot. So this is also a photograph of someone who intended to do great harm, but in the moment of that photograph being made, he looks petrified. Yeah. And that, that makes me think about like this trend to erase the attackers, deny them any identity or recognition. You know, this not only makes those insanity much more real uh, because we have a shot of the thing happening in real time, but that this thing of his fear, you know, it does start to be a little bit more of a link to mental health and the kind of insanity or how like these different these people are broken. And, you know, and maybe this is something we need to be able to and a picture like this helps us relate to. Yeah. Next photo. This uh, photo was taken by Stefan Olsen while he was working from the Danish Meteorological Institute. And it shows him um, retrieving expensive instruments from sea ice in the Arctic this June before the expensive equipment completely disappears because the ice sheet he's, he's on is melting away. And that's because of this unusual warmth in the Arctic this June. This photo looks like you used to see those old Photoshop fantasy photos, but the fantasy is real and, and the reality is climate change. And this is a photograph that you look at, you have to struggle to try to wrap your head around what it is. It's also incredibly beautiful. It is stunning. And it also points to something that's terribly wrong. But this one's really a gut punch because when you know what it's about, you do see the uh, the sea ice giving away. It's You see climate change as a, as a dynamic process. And then it's real irony, too, because this seems like a visual trope for adventure and exploration. You'd never know. You know, It could be a shot you saw at a National Geographic 20 years ago, whatever, nothing's wrong. And the fact that we understand what the context is now makes this photograph a testament to disaster. And it's a kind of harbinger of the precarious nature of the current situation too. So you, know, you can read this as a Photoshop fantasy. Oh, look, they're making the dogs walk on water. On the other hand, how long will the dogs be able to walk on water, so to speak, right? There's going to be a point at which it's just going to be water. That produces, uh, that, that gives this photo also a real kind of underlying, there's a real underlying anxiety here. Yeah, that's the surreal is all too real, yeah. This was taken by Henry Nichols for Reuters. It comes from a Fashion Week men's show in London on June 9th. And one thing that is worth mentioning is that fashion really has become a beacon of political commentary. And you see like almost every runway show, or a lot of them, or at least one every season, is really making some really hard social points. And to me, it seems like the aesthetic sheds light on homelessness and the makeshift. I read it as a critique of masculinity or a critique of beliefs about masculinity. So first of all, this guy does not look like the kind of guy who would walk on a runway. We don't typically see fashion models walking a runway who look like this. But there's, a, I think, a larger point, which is the extent to which we hide certain kinds of images or certain kinds of people or certain kinds of views from others in order to, you know, continue the kind of dream of fashion as, as looking a certain way or, you know, preserving a certain mode of appearance. The other thing I think is, I learned a new phrase as I was Googling around about this, and that phrase is inflatable couture. So if we want to think about inflatable couture as a kind of politics, or at least as a kind of aesthetic, 
I think it also represents a kind of desire to insulate oneself from the universe. I mean, you could literally, we talk about people being in, in filter bubbles. <laughs> uh, well, maybe it brings us back to mental health again, also in a way. Yeah, perhaps, perhaps. I did see something else that suggested that fashion like this points to the end of clothes. <laughs> so <laughs> I really hope that's not the case. <laughs> Can't see that happening. <laughs> Check us out on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and at readingthepictures.org. And we will see you next time.